Whether you like it with large amounts of butter or nice and sweet and cooked in a kettle, popcorn is a delicious snack and tomorrow is National Popcorn Day. And here on Live of the Day, we like to mix things up and we have a different way to enjoy your popcorn. This is super cool. This yes. is so cool. Now our resident foodie, Michelle Oliver, is here with a recipe that she shared with me from TikTok and we are going to try it out. So tell us more. So I was scrolling on TikTok and I came across this recipe. It's a viral video that is, uses popcorn as the breading for chicken tenders. And my first thought was that, oh my God, Tati could have this because yes. it's gluten free people. It has almost 150,000 likes on the platform. And of course, like I said, I immediately thought of Tati. And I know you've been craving a good chicken tender that's gluten free. Because I did say to Michelle, I was like, girl, do you know what I would do for a chicken tender, like a good yes. chicken tender? So this is exciting. So we're going to try it out, right? Yes. OK, so let's go over the ingredients first, just so you can have them. It's a lot of spices. So you have onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, paprika, cayenne, salt. So it does have a lot of spice. You have two eggs as well, some jalapenos, or the actual recipe calls for a Thai chili, but that's really hard to find. Mm -hmm. It's also quite spicy, so if you don't want it to be so spicy, definitely tone it down doing that. And of course, the main ingredient, a bag of popcorn. <laughs> so Very when you cool. talk about like popcorn and crumbs, it didn't really translate when I first thought about yes. this. So what's the first step? What's the key to this okay. recipe? So you take this bag of popcorn right there and put it in the blender and blitz it until it's almost like a fine kind of crumb. So cool. I want to like, I want to like put my hands in it. Oh yeah, go that. ahead. Put some hands this in is, it. I mean, it's, it's, it like literally fine. looks like breadcrumbs. No, that's, and that's exactly the texture you're going for is about breadcrumb texture. So since you have your hands in there already, I put some out on a plate. Can you add some chopped up jalapenos yes. to that? You want me to mix, that? mix it in here? Yes, mix it, mix it into the popcorn. And Tati, you're going to make our spice blend. Okay. So I already pre-measured out the ingredients. We'll have them all measured out for you online. It's all about one to two teaspoons of each of the aforementioned ingredients. Right. And as Tati's mixing those together, I'm just adding a little bit of oil to these chicken tenders. You want a pound and a half of chicken tenders, and you're just going to add a little bit of oil to them, about two tablespoons, just to kind of coat them mm -hmm. and allow this seasoning mix to stick. So, Tati. So, I put the seasoning mix on the chicken. Yeah. Okay. Add it oh, on there. I always thought you put the seasoning in the there. crumb. So, you can do, do it both, both ways. Right? I've seen it like that at a lot of restaurants, but this one calls for it to go in there. Okay. Look how it's just sticking to the chicken. Now, yeah. now I see why. Exactly. And this, I think this way maybe adds a little bit more flavor because it is less dispersed. It's more concentrated yes. on, on the, the chicken. chicken. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. So, so mix that up. we're going to mix that up. I already have two eggs that are blended together and you're just kind of going to do an egg wash. This is pretty common for most things when you fry them. Right. You take the chicken and then you just put it in the egg wash mm -hmm. and you're going to make sure it's fully coated. And then I asked Meredith if she was okay getting her hands dirty. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. I'm going to place it here. Okay. Cover it up in cover the... It. Exactly. Cover, cover that baby. Here we go. Nice. Perfect. And you want to just kind of yep. place it, make sure you get it all nice and done, and then yeah. place it on your tray. Try not to add too many jalapenos. Exactly. <laughs> if you don't want to be spicy, definitely yeah. take out the jalapenos. I also nice. de-seeded it, which is another way to cut down on a lot of spice oh, from call. jalapenos. So then you just put them in the oven. You bake it for about 30 minutes at around 375 degrees. Okay. You also can measure it, and I recommend everyone getting Get a meat thermometer. Mm -hmm. This is so much more accurate than how long <laughs> and at what temp. Uh, you want 165 for poultry, so just take a little measure of that, and they'll come out looking like this. Wow. I can't believe that's popcorn. Uh, hold on, right? I need to go grab this, because if you... <laughs> I know. Here's the thing. Everyone might think, eh, she's a little extra, but if you find out that you can't have gluten, yeah. and you haven't had a chicken finger in a couple of years, this looks like a little bit of heaven. Yes. 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 Now, Michelle, can I taste this? Yeah, can you can taste. All of those are good. I attempted to warm them back up for us, That's and aw, I have. I have little you. plates oh, for I just everybody. Went straight for it. Okay. You can go straight for it. So I'll my first it. thought: this looks so crispy and nice and brown, and the jalapeno adds some good color on there. Isn't that kind of nice? So it's a little, good, little different. It's a little uh, toasty on the bottom. How is it? Mmm. She's still mm. chewing. It kind of. It will say, yeah. when I took a bite of it, it does have a little bit of crunch from the popcorn. Mm -hmm. um, you get a lot of that flavor. And then it's, but it's not the, quite the same as a chicken tender, but it's, it's close. It's not, but it's close enough. 
Mm -hmm. And I think it's all about the seasoning. Yes. yes. All about the seasoning. Michelle, this is so good. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh God, this and is incredible. thank you so much um, for sharing this TikTok find. We will post the recipe that we used um, after the show on clickondetroit.com. This is really good.